Hey everyone, it is the Senile Simmer and we are starting a brand new Let's Play. This is the Let's Get a Growing Challenge. We are set in the 1840s and I'll explain more, but right now I have a choice to make. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Uh, starting out, I want them to get a good basis before... Um, we get into the hard season so let's go spring yeah let's go sp let's go spring Here we have the waterman residence now as you can see we're in Windenburg I took out everything with the exception of uh, the ancient ruins the von Hott estate and the bluffs so there shouldn't be a bunch of random sims running around there are plenty of places to build in the future we do have to stay on the island right now because um well we we would need to build a boat and there are rules for that so uh yeah we need to earn the money to but to build a boat in order to get across to the other sections if we get that far and we have a last exception already caught. Great. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens. Maybe it's just the one. So let's introduce you to the family. Is it nighttime? Oh, it's one o'clock in the morning. So yes, it is. I um, got them in here so that I could uh, build their house and get them going right now they're both in great moods they have this cute little house it was originally called bare necessities and this is the creator ancha cinnamon i i know i'm butchering it but anyway um thank you so much for building this bare necessities home i did change it around a bit uh, to suit my purposes but this was the original shell so thank you so much diane uh, we have in our home just the bare necessities, of course. Let's go down and go inside. First, let's meet our people. We have Anne and Alan Waterman, and they are a newly married couple. She is neat, unflirty, domestic, vegetarian. And her aspiration is to have a successful lineage. And then we have Adam. He is good, vegetarian, green thumb, and bookworm. And his aspiration is homesteader. So uh, we are working. That is a custom aspiration, by the way. And he has needs. He's a bit hungry. Is there any food? Let's look at the, re the kitchen because we have, um, this is their stove. It is their fireplace. They will cook on that stove. Their refrigerator is a cupboard where they store their food and they have a cupboard space. I do believe we have a mod where they can only cook based on the ingredients they have and right now they have nothing we could um, allow them I it's not unreasonable that we would be able to buy certain things um, but only things that you know would be I'm not gonna do vegetables or fruits because they have to find those or fish uh, or herbs those are not okay but I can buy things like eggs and flour and things that they can't they're vegetarian so will not need good cooking beef but we could get a cooking bread and I'm going to allow cheese cheese and eggs and fish so I'm not quite sure if that's vegetarian or not but we're going to go with that. We're going to let them buy those items. They only have $27. Let's buy a milk. Um, and I think that's... Um, we don't need sugar right now. Uh, let's just go with that. And let's see if... Are there any leftovers? Did she make anything? 
Can we open it, please? Oh, yes. She made some grilled cheese uh, before, so we can certainly let's put the ingredients in so that Anne will be able to cook with them. You have grilled cheese in your pockets, good sir. Can you eat that? Oh, no, 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 you can't eat that. That's cooking cheese. Sorry. Um, grab a serving of that. So as you can see, things are very rustic. They just basically, their bed is a mattress on the floor. Their lighting is candles only. They have a rickety bookshelf um, and uh, a, a wooden bench that they sit upon. Their, their table is um, something that he made for them, or so the story goes. These windows are open. I don't know how that's going to affect us with seasons. Um, but yes, you can see that I have changed the cabin. It does look more like a log cabin build. They have an outhouse out back, which has um, all the amenities. We have a bowl they can wash up in. We have a toilet, which is basically a wooden box with a, a container. Um, and we have a wooden shower. I'm not sure. We'll just pretend they, they take the water and dump it on their head. So there is that. She is able to do laundry uh, because we have a, a laundry bucket and a clothesline. He is able to do woodworking on this, and I love this. This is one of my favorite uh, items that I was able to download. Oh, wait. Something tells me I'm missing the patch for that. Okay, well, I'll have to get that. Hmm, I'm missing that that uh, mod for that. And that's okay, we'll, we'll worry about that. We have the garden, we can certainly work on that. Um, so here's the deal. This is a combination between the Upgrowth Challenge by Holly BBTV the Grassroots Challenge by Zilria and the Family Farm Generational Type Challenge from Jester Sims YT. Um, I took bits and parts, rules from each of them to make this Let's Get Growing. So I'm not making it generational as in we're not gonna advance through the years like Jester does. However, there are a couple of things that I did like about her challenge. Uh, one of the things is we can't leave this area, obviously, without a boat. I think that was hers. Um, upgrowth. Love the rolls of the dice for pregnancy, possible deaths. I really thought that that was helpful. Um, the grassroots challenge, all about taking a family and then taking their offspring and moving them into a different lot. And so, um, yeah, I kind of did like that. So let me uh, just turn on play. So what does she want to do? Obviously, it is the 1840s. We don't um, want to have the woohoo unless we're looking to have a baby. We cannot do a pregnancy test because those weren't around then. Zarf but we can certainly wink, um wink, <laughs> Oh she's loud. I need to turn the voices down just a little bit. I love this cottage. It's so cottagey and Not rustic. The so they're just having a conversation. Uh, when they're done, both of them will be happy. I'm going to have them do the, uh, oh, good, they're good friends. Yay. I'm going to have both of them do the woohoo. Oh, look at that. Compliment appearance. She's doing some very fast, friendly item uh, conversations with him. We have Love Day coming up on Friday. It is going to rain every day between now and then, but Love Day will dawn bright and sunny, so that will be fun. Uh, we'll, uh, we can't go on a date, unfortunately, because there's no place we can go, unless we go to the Bluffs. We could go to the Bluffs. I think that's a place that we can actually travel to. So. Parsagop <laughs> Bay? Maranoi!
I love how these candles uh, really light up the place. <laughs> Give it a very warm feel. Uh, but they don't stay lit. <laughs> so there is that. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, is he done? Boy, you better keep eating. She's just flirting away with you. Oh, look at that. It's very happy. Uh, so when he gets done eating, maybe we'll do the um, tripe of baby. So they can't eat chicken, beef, or fish. Oh. I see. Well, then we'll just sell the fish. Are they... No, no, no. No sleeping. Stop, please. Uh, we would like to try for baby with Anne. You can sleep after. As you can see, I, I gave them very old, rustic clothes. As close as I could to being realistic to the 1940s. Woohoo! All right, they are sleeping. That's good. And we have a last exception. All right, I'm going to stop here for just a moment, see if I can figure out what that exception is and if it is something I can fix. And I will come back in just a moment. Uh, okay, so she's going to clean that up and then maybe she should get a serving for herself. Uh-oh. She's not feeling very well. So the good news is that she's probably pregnant. So after she's done eating, we will have her go take a shower. And then maybe... I wonder if she can... She doesn't have enough simoleons to do that. Okay. Well, let's have her look at the garden and see uh, what she can harvest all. Get some carrots and some mushrooms in the refrigerator. Oh, maybe we should go to the bathroom first. Just thought. She has the need to throw up. That's good. <laughs> and then we'll have her harvest. Harvest all. Oh, the only... Yeah, I don't have any outfits for them for... What are you doing? You want to clean out spoiled food. Okay, we'll let you do that. Open. Put those in there. That one you can sell. <laughs> it's not even worth it, but okay. And we need to put five of these in. Wow. Glitchy. And then we can sell those. Oh, yay. We have $14. Good, good, good. Now we have 31 So what can you actually cook? Not much. Oh, there's no available counter space. Ah. Well, that's odd. It worked just fine. 
before. How is there no available counter space? Can't do laundry, apparently. Yes, you can. How about search the pockets? He's researched a cherry tree and reached gardening level three. Good, Alan, good. That's your job. What did you make? What are you making? Tea. Oh. Well, good thing your wife found 15 in the pockets. That's all I have to say. Go do the laundry. Wash in the wash tub, please. I don't like her clothes. So let's change. What do we have for warm weather? Oh, see, that's not okay. No, no, and no, please. Do we have short pants? I'm gonna say no. And those shoes are not okay. All right, what do you have for cold weather? Um, all right, he's done. That whole outfit is just wrong. Yeah, that's not happening, girl. Um, well, that's going to do it until next time. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I do appreciate you watching. If you've got a moment, there's a video down below, maybe two. Take a moment, look through, see what interests you, and give it a watch. In the meantime, I hope to see you all next time. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.